Hello, everybody. This is Pastor Mike, and I have a very special prayer request for everybody. A very strange thing happened yesterday. As many of you know, if you watched our live church service yesterday, at the end of the service, we had Michael Holanda, my son-in-law, uh, come forward, and all of our church laid hands and prayed for him. Because as you know, he is going to Kenya today. And uh, this Wednesday, we start a three-day pastor conference in the area of our radio station, Turkana, Kenya. And um, he is going to be hosting that and helping with that. And, and of course, I'm going to be teaching the conference uh, from here at Bethel Church. Also, this Friday, as part of that conference, we're going to do our feeding program uh, where we feed several hundred families. And um, that's going to be this Friday. Every time he goes to Kenya, there is a very serious spiritual battle that takes place. There are attacks on him. There are attacks on uh, his family his marriage. There are attacks on people in our church. A lot of times they'll come after me and so on. Um, so that's why we feel like it's very important to pray for him, lay hands on him, and then continue to pray for him and for our church while he works there and while we minister there in Kenya. Yesterday afternoon, after us praying for him, and I really felt the power of God in our prayer. He was had gone to the store with his son, my grandson, Jaden. They were on their way back, and they were about two blocks from the church, and they stopped at a stoplight. While they stopped, a car rolled up next to them, and a woman was in that car, and she caught my son-in-law's attention, had him roll down the window. So he rolled down the window, and when he did, she started screaming, You effing nigger, you! You nigger! I hate you, nigger! Go away! Started giving him the finger. A man behind her jumped out of his car and said, Lady, what are you doing? Are you crazy? What's wrong with you? Of course, she yelled the same expletives at him. When my grandson came back to the church, he was visibly shaken. He was crying. He didn't know. He asked his mom and his grandma, did I do something wrong? Did, what, what's the matter? My son-in-law, Michael, was just in tears over this. When I heard this, I immediately knew that this was a devil in this woman. This was a devil and there's no doubt in my mind about it. You see, spirits operate a lot like beasts. If you ever walk down a road and you pass by a house, a dog comes out growling and barking and, and you know, just making himself mean and showing his teeth. And what that is, is fear. You see, God has put a fear of man inside animals and when you walk next to an animal's territory that animal will come out and try to look fierce and mean and try to threaten you and and that's what that was well the bible says greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world and so there's no doubt that the lord jesus was all over my son-in-law yesterday and there was a warning shot a growl from a very scared, angry devil that tried to intimidate and frighten him. He's going to get on the plane today and he's going to go to Kenya and he's going to do what our church has asked him to do. But I want to ask you and encourage you again to continue to pray for our church, for our ministries, our two radio stations in Turkana, Kenya and Samburu, Kenya. 
and uh, to pray for Michael especially as he labors over there, as he ministers over there, as we try to teach and train pastors, as we try to hand out the food that God has blessed us with to give away, that you pray for him, pray for our church, pray for our families here, and just cover this entire um, meeting and this entire trip with prayer. I want to continue to do what God has asked us to do here in this little church. And we appreciate the help of those who help us out. We appreciate the prayers. We appreciate the encouragement and support. So with that, I just wanted to let you know that it just, you, you can always tell when you're about to do something great for God and really hurt the kingdom of Satan, they always try to scare you away from doing what God tells you to do. So please pray for him. Pray for us. All right. God bless you.